Hi everyone, it's Sunday. <laughs> we went to our friend's house yesterday. Um, it was quite a like hectic Saturday, so I decided to like take it off because um, I couldn't really vlog in the morning because it was a christening and it's not really appropriate to be vlogging someone else's christening. And um, then we decided that we were gonna go to our friends just for a chilled night in and um, Danny cooked us a curry, which was lovely. And we tried a new gin, which was Martin Miller's gin. And all that banging that you can hear downstairs is Ali making breakfast. Like we were there until like three o'clock in the morning. And so it was a little bit of a late morning today, even though we are going down to um, the, we're going to the Armani show, I think this evening, which um, should be lovely. It just seems so silly to be going down to London for two hours, but um, yeah, we're gonna go down. We might even try and go and have a Sunday lunch if we can, but I just really, really want a Sunday lunch. I haven't had one for a very, very long time. So I think it would be very nice to go for one. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling a, not like delicate today, but just like tired, I think. Ali's downstairs making a Sunday breakfast for us. I think I'm having baked beans on toast because I'm a child. <laughs> um, and I think he's having like some eggs. I'll probably have some eggs as well. But yeah, so it should be a nice Sunday need to like put some eye drops in because my eyes look sore and it was like when we left last night it was like cold when we were running back to the car we were like oh and it really felt like one of those like those times when you're a kid and you went to like a house party and then you left in the early hours of the morning and it was just freezing and you're like oh you can't get like warm again obviously I was clever and brought a blanket to their house so I was always toasty <laughs> um but yeah let's go get something to eat and start the day I am still living for these slippers. I think they're my most favorite slippers ever. They're so comfortable. And I ignore the fact that I desperately need my toes doing as well. It's nail time soon at the nail boutique, but um, no, these slippers are the best. I love them. Morning, mommy. Morning. 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 Eggs, beans, and cheese. Exactly, Lumi. So I'm exporting Sunday's video, which is going up tonight. And you watching football? Ali's watching football. And I'm going to put my washing out because um, I did some delicate washing. Oh, it's still on. There was a spider. Oh my god. Um, well, it's still oh no, is it tumble dry? Oh no. Oh no. So, if you didn't realise from that last clip, I had a bit of a um, washing machine malfunction. I put all of my washing in the washing machine and I put all the settings on. I don't really know what happened. I don't know who touched it, but someone put the tumble dry function on and yeah there were delicates in there that shouldn't have been tumble dried so we've had a bit of a panic my jumpsuit i thought was ruined i'm hoping that we've managed to save it i still need to iron it a little bit but i had like cashmere jumpers in there and everything oh my god i look awful um <laughs> i've just finished uploading tonight's vlog so i'm like meh my eyes are like this i now need to actually get ready because we're going to be getting picked up to go um down to london with armani at uh 6:45. so we're going down there for the after party of the show um just for two hours and um just to see everyone say hi have a nice sunday doesn't look like we're going to do sunday roast though because i've got to get ready now um which is a little bit upsetting i have to try and go next sunday but i think that i'm in paris so yeah i am damn it oh <laughs> this one is sleeping well, she was sleeping until I woke her up. You okay? You're a little bit, um... Oh, don't show that. You always just want to put your bum in the picture. Just... 
Betty Rub. Belly rub, belly rub, belly rub. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, so I think the mask I will use. Can I try this one? This is the herbivore blue tansy one. Uh, that's a resurfacing clarity mask. Mm. Or I have the Glossier Moisturising Moon Mask. Soothing and hydrating face treatment. I think we'll go with this one. So I'm going to leave this on my skin for 20 minutes. I think I'll jump in the shower whilst it's on my face. This is, by the way, the Glossier Moisturising Moon Mask. Glossier will be available um, to buy online uh, from October. So I'll get a final date for that and pop this uh, in a link down below. But this is just a hydrating mask so you whack like a thick layer on your skin and just leave it to, to soak in. So now I'm gonna jump in the shower. It's awful light in here today, but I am going to just do my makeup with you anyway, um, just quickly because we don't actually have a lot of time. So I'm going to pop on the By Terry CC Serum. If I find it in stock, I'll pop it in the description box, but it's unlikely at the moment. But I worked on a few things with By Terry recently and uh, it's not been in stock. So, <laughs> sauce. Then I am going to use, if I can find my makeup brush, which I think it's in here. I used this to go to a christening the other day. Yes, all my makeup is in here. So I'm gonna go in with the Glossier Skin Tint and just whack this all over to even my skin tone, which I love. Just buff that in. Doesn't look like it does anything, but it's just some kind of sorcery that makes your skin look amazing. I need to put some eye drops in as well. Don't let me forget that. <laughs> Then I'm hoping for a little bit more coverage on my skin, so I'm gonna use the Armani um, Luminous Silk Foundation. There are lots of people that ask what foundation I'm wearing at the moment, and when I say that I'm not wearing the Lancome one anymore, they're like, well, why? Like, you said it was the best foundation in the world. There is always a good reason for these things, and it's just because my tan is still, so I wasn't wearing tan when I had that matched, and it's, like my tan is like a little bit darker now. I don't really understand. It's just not matching as well. It's still like an amazing foundation coverage wise, but I think I need to get it done when I'm really, really like just been tanned, which is a shame because I absolutely love it. It's such a good foundation. I didn't tell you that it was a good foundation. Like oh, obviously I wasn't paid to do that. I literally think that that's such a good foundation. It's amazing. And the fact that you can get it perfectly matched is just that my skin tone changes all the time because one day I'm really brown, the next day I'm a little bit less brown, the next day I'm even less brown, and then I'm white. <laughs> so yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a strange one when you use fake tan, but I just have like a bit of a wardrobe of um, foundation, so I haven't fake tan today, but when I fake tan I tend to use the By Terry Click Expert because that's the darkest that I have. This is kind of like the one that works really well most of the time in between kind of like tanning stages and then yeah so the other one is when i'm like not really tanned so it's about finding what works with your skin the most important thing is that your foundation matches in my book <laughs> i need some eye drops actually as well before i do that oh this is a scatty makeup tutorial today now we're just going to bounce a dry beauty blender in here and then dab under the eye area this is a very, very creamy concealer. And then to cover up this little blemish by the side of my mouth, I'm gonna use the By Terry Stilo Expert. I always call it a click stick because I always think it's like a lipstick, but it's not. It's the Stilo Expert. So now that we have concealed everything, we can go in with powder. The powder that I use constantly is the By Terry Compact Expert. Um, this is in shade Ivory Fair and this just keeps my skin glowy after putting all of that glowiness on my base. Sets but doesn't like mattify, but you can then use this outer ring in the areas where you want 
it to be matte because you don't want to look like shiny sweaty. For bronzer, I'm using the Chanel Les Be I don't know, is it Les Be Le Beige? Le Be I don't know, Chanel bronzer. <laughs> and this is the deep shade. And I'm just using this as like a bit of a contour, just a quick contour though. For my eyebrows, I'm going to be using the Giorgio Armani High Precision Brow Pencil. Really like this. The only thing I don't like about it is the brush that is on the end of it. It is not a good brow brush in my opinion. So it's quite frustrating that you have to use like an external brow brush. <laughs> external. Good word, Lydia. Then I go in with the Glossier Boy Brow just to dishevel my brows a little bit. Really love this product as well. I think that if there's two products that you should get from Glossier, it is the Boy Brow and the Skin Tint. Time for some blush. And I'm using the Marc Jacobs Air Blush in Flesh and Fancy. Time to go in with the contour and I'm using Rodial, the original compact contouring powder. We grow, we go. I'm going to be curling my lashes using just a Tweezerman eyelash curler and then I'm going to be using the Christian Louboutin mascara and then lashes. I have uh, Fleur de Forces, um, I don't know what ones they are anymore because I haven't got the box. But I think that they're a little bit more subtle than the 143s from Isla, so I'm going to use those instead. That's first coat of mascara done. Just let that dry a little bit. I'm not going to do any eyeshadow today, um, I'm just going to do lashes, and that's it. Using Spice Lip Liner as usual. And I think I'm going to use the By Terry Velvet Rouge in shade 1 all over. So because I am going out, I am going to use the iconic um, illuminator in the original shade. Literally, I've heard so many people saying like, how do you use it? it just I get like huge amounts of products on my face. You literally use the tiniest amount. I say that is probably even a little bit too much and I dab it onto a brush like this and then I go in. Less is so much more with this product. You get a really nice, beautiful glow without that sort of like stroby look. It just gives it um, a really beautiful sheen and people always ask me what highlight I'm wearing when it's um, this one. So now I think we're ready for eyelashes. Let's give this a bit of a whirl. I'm, I'm so bad at putting eyelashes on, it's unbelievable. I screw it up, it takes me forever. Oh, it's a nightmare. But let's, let's try anyway. I don't think I could wear eyelashes on a daily basis though, because I don't think I'm like organized enough for that. So we shall leave that to dry a little bit, but that is what we've done. Popped a little bit on. I feel like a proper makeup guru doing this. <laughs> Sorry guys, I need to stand up and do this. So, I'm all dressed. Um, my trousers are now longer than they were, which is just hilarious. I literally can't believe my luck with this jumpsuit. It's just been horrific. Panic bought, fell in love, ripped it, and now shrunk it, and then now it's too long. I, I just don't even know what to do. Um, but this is what I'm wearing. I've got my Louis Vuitton Petite Mal bag, some Manolos on. My makeup is done. Sorry I didn't show you the last bit, but I was, um, rushing. Eyelashes are on. I definitely think I prefer these actually. The uh, flower ones, definitely prefer them. Yeah, love them. Um, Ali's ready, our car's outside so we're going to head down to London now. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Big rubs. Big rubbies. Yeah. Hey everyone, we're back home now. I'm with this one on the sofa. It's like 12 o'clock at night and- Waiting for our pizza. We are waiting for our pizza. Um, I've just put my video live and um, I've been reading through the comments on the way home and there was one or two about the way that I spoke to you about coming to bed. Why would you do that? I was like, babe, bed, <laughs> now. <laughs> and why do I have to do that, babe? Because I don't go to bed. Exactly. Like, like a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> and we we both like struggle to sleep if the other person stays up. Do you remember when I used to have to pull all nighters when I worked yeah. in the office, like in another office yes. at work, and you used to get really angry at me. Yes. So yeah, I wasn't like I, I, obviously I was not being horrible to you in any way, shape, or form. I'm the worst person when it comes to going to bed. To I have to bed. make him go to bed, so he thanks me for it. And Do you know why though? My brain and my creative side wakes up at like night, so I actually feel like I'm going to be more productive with work at night. But then when it gets kind of like to like 1 a.m., 2 a.m. I do start flagging a little bit, but I actually then, by which time I'm into my work, so I'm kind of enjoying it because it's like, yeah, I'm getting in the flow. Also, and then you I just kind of, work. you kind of like immerse yourself in when you're editing, you just kind of get lost. Like I can't yeah, even yeah. talk to you. I'm like, Ali, Ali, Ali. And you're just like, just editing. But yeah, no, it like I could have obviously edited that bit out, but that's something that we're going through at the moment is like getting you to bed at a godly hour and getting you up at a normal hour is something that we're like working through at the moment and you literally say to me Lydia make sure I get up in the morning and yeah so I could have edited it, edited it out but I just I didn't because it's what we're working through at the moment <laughs> the truth but yeah that's our pizza <laughs> is it cat me out it's a good sign Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. I can't believe we left the house without having dinner. I think it's because we thought we were going to go and get a roast, wasn't it? Yeah. This is making up for our roast. Wee! Halfsies! I might put some feta on mine. Filthy. No more kissing. No. Well, it's Monday and I haven't actually spoken to you yet. The binmen have just uh, pulled up outside. Um, I'm getting ready to uh, shoot some Instagram content with Ali downstairs. So I've got no makeup on because it's like skincare related. So um, looking nice and glowy with my skincare on. I wasn't really sure whether I should like open my post with you this morning because I've had a few deliveries um, and I just didn't get around to doing it. And um, I, I kind of wish I'd filmed it, but I don't think it would have been right. I just received um, a, I, I can't even express how it made me feel, but I cried um, because it was just such a shock. Basically, a few months ago, um, there was a blog post written about me by another blogger and um, it's just this huge thing that happened on the internet and um, it was actually really, really, like it, it was a really difficult thing for me to take and I think that's the only time the internet has ever really made me cry because it was kind of incessant to me. I learned a lot from it and I learned that, you know, just because you think something Lydia, you know, no matter how irrelevant or relevant you think it is, you don't always have to voice it, but um, it was tough and, and reading stuff about yourself online written by other bloggers who maybe don't understand your stance was really, really hard. Um, because I was sat there, I was just like, no, I didn't, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, one of the people that wrote um, a blog post about it and um, basically just apologising and holding her hands up and 
for me that doesn't really ever happen on the internet and it's just quite a weird thing because I do feel like at the moment I don't know whether it's just due to the my channel and you know the, the growth that it's had or what but I do feel like I get quite a, a lot of um negativity thrown at me sometimes I, I'm absolutely petrified to even talk about this on my channel because uh, I don't want I don't I don't want to make it worse um, but I also don't really know how to make it better um, so just for someone to turn around and say what I did was wrong what I did to you was wrong and I'm sorry was just kind of like oh so it was, really, it was just really nice to, it's made my Monday basically and I'm just, it's just so nice to to be able to put something like that to like one side and just be like okay, because she said that she likes what I do which is so nice as well. But some people find themselves in situations and places that they don't really, they're not able to acknowledge and um, yeah, anyway, it's just. I feel like that's a really commendable thing to come out and say that you, you know, you made a mistake or, you know, I didn't, it's not what I wanted to do or it's not who I am. When these people say such horrible things um, about me online, like, I, I do try and think about where they are in their lives and, and what might be happening to them and I understand um, that people do have dark places and I've had dark places um, and I think that people deal with those situations differently, um, but... I do try and always remember that whenever I see something I'm like it's okay Lydia your headspace is okay but there's like they might just be in one of those bad places anyway <laughs> I am gonna get on and do some work I've got a blog post to write and I've got an Instagram image to shoot oh we also have to go out later because we have some house appointments um, so I might head to HomeSense um, just have a look around. I've been seeing all of the girls doing the, the Home Sense ads. This has got to be one of the best campaigns I've ever seen. That and Sammy Maria's Marmite campaign. Those are like campaign goals. <laughs> so I'm going to head to Home Sense, have a mooch around, not buy anything because I'm not allowed to yet, um, and might get myself a coffee as well. Um, not going to bother doing makeup today. I'm just going to leave my skin like this. I'm really loving these like no makeup days. They're just so much easier. Um, but yeah it um good start to a monday so quickly rushing out the door um i'm gonna head to the shops i'm gonna grab a coffee i think ali's going to the gym i'm wearing my happy wifey jumper because i'm sorry they're just so snuggly it's unbelievable they're like furry on the inside and then i've got my all saints balfour jacket on and some gibson girl leggings which are the most comfortable leggings ever i kind of wish they came in like all black um and then I've got Yeezys, Louis, and no makeup face. I'm getting used to this. I'm like actually really enjoying just like having dressed down days. It's nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Anyway, I need to get out of the house. As you can hear, Ali is frantically getting rid of everything. So um, yeah, I'm going to the shops. I'm just depressing myself now. Look at these chair legs. These are amazing. I want them. Oh my god, why did I do that to myself? Oh, that was so frustrating. I literally just wanted to buy everything in HomeSense and I can't. Oh, they had the most amazing stools, the most amazing chairs, ornaments. Oh my god, even hangers. I wanted to buy hangers. I was like, don't buy hangers, Lydia, because you don't know what your colour scheme in your room's going to be. There's people walking past. Hold on. Oh, that was so frustrating. I bought some candles, so I'm going to go home and burn the shit out of them, and that's going to make me feel like I got something new for the house. <laughs> oh, all I want to do is move. It's probably really frustrating for you guys because I've been going on about it for a very long time. Unfortunately, there was, there's was there been like some delays and stuff, but hopefully we're moving forward now. Um, but it's just been very frustrating, especially when like people turn up for work and there's not a proper space for them to work. It's like... It's really frustrating. Anyway, I'm gonna go get a coffee before I start moaning anymore. We can talk about this in a bit, but there's people walking past and probably think that I'm weird sat in my car talking to my camera. We're back in the house and I got us some lunch as well. I got us some cream cheese and salmon bagels. It looks like there's been a delivery as well. 
which is always a good thing. Um, I got us some coffees, and I'm gonna show Ali what I got in um, Home Sense. It's not lots of stuff, I did get him something. I got him a little something for his office when he gets one. So, I went to Home Sense, hashtag not spawn, but um, <laughs> really loved the campaign that they did with all the other girls, so I was like, I need to go to Home Sense. I got this mass, I wanted really big candles as well so they don't, they don't run out easily. This is white oak wood, um, and this is an autumn harvest hand poured candle. Oh, that is like proper autumn-y. She likes it. Mimi likes the candle. Smell though. It is nice, very Christmassy. No, 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 that's autumn. Yeah, Christmas, autumn, same thing. No, it's not the same thing, Ali. It smells like, it's got a spice to it. Yeah, that's what you want, like pumpkin spice. Yeah. This one but might be a little bit too strong, I don't know. But I can't This will be nice in a country house. Yeah. I also got, you'll like this one. Yeah. yeah. Double espresso. Wow. Do you like that? That is, a, that's a winner. You like that's that That's a caramel one. double espresso. It yeah. smells like caramel. So what I was trying to do was get like big candles so that we can burn them. Because we've obviously almost done the spring candle. So I've got my new candle burning in the office. It smells very nice. Ali's downstairs making a making jacket potato for dinner and I have a box to open with you. So yeah, I got a delivery through today and um, basically I am going to Paris with L'Oreal next week. I'm only going for, I think it's two days and then I have to come back and I'm going to do Brides the Show, which I'm really excited about. I'm doing a panel there, but I'm gonna get to like meet lots of you as well. Um, so I'm gonna go and I have to come back for that unfortunately so I miss a lot of like the L'Oreal parties which is such a shame but then I come back again um, a couple of days later with the rest of the beauty squad as well so um, I have been picking up a few bits to ensure that I have some nice new clothes there um, I'm really starting to like get into just sorting out my wardrobe and what I'm gonna do once I've had dinner I've decided that I need to differentiate from my summer and um, winter wardrobe. I don't usually do this because we travel so much we could end up somewhere warmer so if I put it away in storage then I can't really like access that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack down um, some of the dresses and stuff that I absolutely cannot wear in uh, winter time and hopefully make a little bit more space. Um, because I'm not really selling anything at the moment um, if I do ever sell anything it'll be on my Depop uh, I will pop my handle either on screen or down below for a link um, yeah so I've been getting some bits for autumn winter one of the bits you might think is a little bit strange I just thought I'd try it I can always send it back if it doesn't work as always I thought I'd unbox it with you here on a vlog because I'm not buying like loads of stuff and it seems silly to, to devote a whole haul to this particular one. Um, I have filmed some other hauls which will be going up on my channel but for now let's open the box. So get into the black box and start with the first one. Oh my god. No let's do this one first. So these are what I bought. They are some Stella McCartney glasses but they are clear glasses. Now I don't know whether this is going to make me look like my mum but with all of like the beiges and stuff, I've got no makeup on so they probably look quite rubbish, but with all of like the beiges in my wardrobe and stuff, I thought these might look quite cool. Just worried that they might accentuate my nose a little bit, perhaps if I wear it like a little bit further down. I thought with like chunky knits or like midi dresses, it looked quite cute, so just trying to convince myself. We'll see how we go with those. <laughs> this is a silk nude mini mini midi dress from Joseph and it's got a belted waist I thought with my Chloe Nile bag this would look really cute it feels lovely it's got kind of like um puffy sleeves that's really annoying on the website it had a tie waist oh it's here don't worry it's here so yeah you you tie it around the waist like that and then you can kind of like zhuzh it up I thought that they delivered it without the um tie waist but don't worry don't worry it's here we've got it yeah I think I'm going to try that on and see what it looks like so I'll probably try it on with you guys in a bit and then I have one more item in here which is from one of my favorite designers 
and it was like, oh wow, oh my goodness. So this is from Jonathan Simkai, and this is kind. Of, this was giving me kind of Chloe vibes on the website. Oh, has it got a pussy bow as well? Oh, it does. And it's just this kind of like, you're not gonna see it on there at all, but it's this like ruffly and laced up and then it's got this like eyelet detail here. I'm definitely gonna have to show you this stuff on. This looks absolutely beautiful. I'm so glad I got this. And I can also wear it with my new boots that I have coming. Finally, they've been dispatched. I've been waiting for them for ages. They're the um, black Balenciaga knife boots. And um, by the time this video goes out, I will already have them but um, I've literally been waiting for them to be dispatched because I wanted the right heel height and I also wanted the nylon ones, not the kind of um, stretchy ones. So I think that these both will actually look really nice with those. So this is the Joseph dress and I think if ever there was a me colour palette, it would be this. I absolutely love it. There will definitely be a lot of wearing this outfit. It's just so easy. Oh my God, it's beautiful. So cute. And you can put like gilets on top of it so that it's maybe like not, so you can like warm it up a little bit when it does get a little bit colder. I would even say that you could put like a leather jacket over it because this is quite minimal. It'd look quite nice with it. Um, but yeah, this is lovely, fits beautifully. Such a nice color and I love the details of the arms, which I actually wasn't sure whether I would like the arms. Um, but see, like now when it's on because it's so nice and like tight around the waist and stuff Yeah, oh, I think this is brilliant. I really wasn't sure about this. I was like, mm, I love the color of it But we'll see when it arrives now love it Absolutely love it. I actually really like it with my Stella McCartney glasses as well Obviously when I have makeup on it'll look nicer But this is the kind of thing that I've sort of thought that these would look nice with just kind of like a beige outfit with gold accents and I like it. This is the Jonathan Simkai dress. I'm trying it on with two different boots but I think that the over the knee um, Stuart Weitzman tend to work a little bit better and actually make it look more autumnal and probably provide a little bit more warmth. I popped it with um, my Chloe bag as well but I think it would look nice with the brown one. Also, again, this will look really nice with a gilet over the top. I've got a really nice uh, Burberry one that I had last year. So I can stick that over the top, rewear it, and yeah. This is lovely. Nice, like, loose fitting dress, which is great. You can also stick, like, jackets over it whilst it's not that warm, uh, whilst it's not that cold. Um, but just for like a little bit more warmth so you can do like gilets and then maybe a leather jacket or a suede jacket it would look really nice with this as well. Very, very happy with my purchases. I'm getting good at this online shopping malarkey, I think.